Hello and welcome back to Crack and Cryptic. Now today um, I'm going to have a look at solving a cryptic crossword and I'm going to give you a bit of a tip if sometimes you struggle getting started with a puzzle. One idea that you can do is to look for anagrams. Now you may or may not be better at solving anagrams than other clues but if you can find a clear anagram indicator at least you know what's going on in the clue or you're more likely to. So this is my solve of The Guardian from a few minutes ago and um, I'll just play through what I did using this method to start with. Now in fact there aren't that many anagrams in this puzzle and here I am looking, looking around reading the clues. Now the really short clues very rarely have anagrams because there just isn't enough words but here's an interesting pair of words in a clue. Lead otter. That's such strange words. How could they be helping the clue in any other way other than being the word, the letters for an anagram? About, that's certainly a possible anagram indicator. Nine letters, lead otter, that's nine letters. This really does look like an anagram. That'll be endured. So my last tip on anagrams was look for regular endings and endured, well that ends in ED, it past tense does, we've got an ED here. So that's a good place to start. So we're looking for something meaning endured, probably, ending in ED, made from the letters of lead otter. If you're ready to see the answer, well go ahead, because that's where I started, and in goes 14 down, which is tolerated. And then, having done that, I could already see 13 across is ordered. That's another anagram indicator, surely. Ensure boat seems to be 10 letters. So if, you, if those letters are ordered correctly, you can get a resort. Took me quite a while to think of what that would be by, in my terms. Um, I wasn't sure if you'd need a synonym for resort or an actual resort. And in the end, I did get it as Eastbourne. Now, just scanning the clues, I'd spotted this word dreadful, and that again is so often a possible anagram indicator. Five letter word needed, there's five letters in roles. So we need to rearrange the letters of roles, probably to make a no-hoper. And that's possibly a bit more straightforward than the other longer anagrams, loser. So I haven't seen many other anagrams at this point, but I've seen in 24 down first person in French, well, the first person is I or me or moi, or in French, uh, moi would be French, but so would je. So I think I come back to that clue in a moment and go, first person in French, je, street, well that could be rud, rd for road, but or more obviously st for street, and to jest is to kind of ridicule. So that's the answer at 24. And now we've got some letters for the acrosses, so I'm going to try them. And in fact, just by chance, here's the final anagram in the puzzle, I think, or certainly one of the others. I'm not sure if there's any more after this. Thrash counter-revolutionary. Now, The Guardian can get away, I think. It's allowed to have a hyphen. Revolutionary is the anagram indicator, so counter is the seven-letter fodder for the anagram and you need a word meaning thrash from the letters of counter and that's thrash in a sporting sense so the answer is trounce. Now just carry on with the across clues. Here's a tough one. Shabby clothes in Israel meaning post. Well shabby clothes I eventually thought can be tat and of course there's the biblical version of Israel which is Zion or Sion and if you put tat in Sion you get station which is a post. Now, pupil is rather pliant here at 17 across. I've stopped it again. One of the things that's good to know is that a learner equals L is often used in crosswords. Now, it's a bit indirect to have pupil as that learner because it's normally in the sense of a learner driver who's not really a pupil. But if we accept that a learner is L and then that could be given by pupil, then we just need L is and a word for rather and it all means pliant. That's possibly a slightly more recherche word, but lissom, which can be spelled with or without the E, is the answer there. And at 19 across, another bit of crossword ease, slightly more straightforward, special can be abbreviated to S. And once you know that, and again is represents is, so if you put is S in 
If you have that embraced, put inside a word meaning comrade, you can get a painter. And again, the T in the grid may help you think of that painter, but certainly once you think of him having ISS in, Matisse may come to mind. A 20 across, betray European judge. European can be E, so to betray can be to rat. If you rat someone out or you rat on them, you're betraying them. Now here's a phrase, five, two, three. Look at these positions of the O and the L. Chief ought to tumble before anything else. The definition's very clear, and I thought of the answer from that, which is first of all. And that breaks down, I think, as chief being first. Ought is being used in its older sense of meaning zero. Ought is uh, nothing. So first O and then to tumble is four, and that's how the wordplay breaks down. Um, 25 across is a bit harder. Tory leader. Now, again, the Guardian, that could be the letter T. Um, fury fades after misfortunes. And you do actually need synonyms for fury and fades after that T to come up with these misfortunes. And fury is fairly straightforward as rage, but fades here as dies, and that together gives us tragedies. Um, 26 across, then after that, regrets adopting liberal laws. Well, liberal can be L, and regrets is obviously ruse. And 27 across, traded in wood tar initially. Well, tar initially is the letter T. Deal is a type of wood. And there we are. Now, I have to move this slightly. Sorry, that yeah, didn't help. Cockney in ecstasy since getting offer. Um, now there is, sorry, speaking very quickly suddenly, there we go. Um, the company is an East Ender and the offer is a tender. So it's E for ecstasy, that's since, as, and then getting off a tender. And that gives us, that makes up East Ender. Now these downs where we've got all the letters, often you can just think of the word from the letters given. And that looks like installed at 16 across. This month, inst, every all edition head set up. 18, earl, that can be E, to risk concealing conditions. So that's dice concealing if. And the whole thing means a building, edifice. And 19, badly treats girls wrapping uniform. Well, uniform can be you. We're really getting an education, the misses of the girls. We're really getting an education in one letter abbreviations in this puzzle. So it's you in misses to give misuses. And 21 down, Porsche rarely bears headgear. Well, using the T, A and A we've got, there's only one sort of headgear that's going to fit, and that's a tiara. And there it is hidden in the words Porsche rarely. So another fairly straightforward one at this point. Now two down, I move on to next. Got a couple of letters for that. And in fact, here is another anagram. Claudius prepared to eat duck and tart. Well, here's a slightly odder one letter definition. Duck, as in cricket, can be zero, or therefore the letter O. So you make an anagram of Claudius around that. It's a slightly odd word for tart, and obviously not the food tart, but the sharp tasting or acid tart. And in fact, acid is the clue. This word is acidulous with the anagram of Claudius. Three down, engineer's relative keeps foul. Well, the way I got to that, I was thinking, what sort of short foul might we have? Well, there's... A fowl can be a goose or a duck or a turkey, but the shortest word I know is hen for a fowl. <coughs> I've got an N there, so if I was to put hen here, can I think of an engineer with hen there? And very happily for me, I could. The pioneering steam engineer, Stevenson. So what's keeping the fowl in that? Well, steps on very cleverly is the relative. So that would be pretty hard if you attacked it from the relative point of view, but if you can either think of the engineer or the fowl, that's much more manageable. So the answer there is Stevenson. Um, carried on with four down, cost of swans in the river. A good thing to know about a swan for a crossworder is that the, um, the male is a cob and the female is a pen. Those are three, two useful three-letter words to know. Crosswords. 
uh, good things to know for general knowledge, but crosswords use them a lot. So in this case, cost of swans in the river. Well, you also need to know a bunch of three-letter rivers in this country, especially. We've got the Fowl and the Cam and the D and the Don, but we've certainly got the X, E-X-E, at the river in Devon. So uh, the swans here are pens and the river is the X. The definition is probably the easiest part, cost, and that gives us expense. Um, and five down, disarming agent hurries to embrace Georgia. Well, Georgia is GA, the state abbreviation. In fact, there's the country Georgia, which is GE, but you won't see that in these sorts of crossword very often. So we need hurries to embrace that. GA would obviously fit at the beginning of the three-letter word to give some sort of gas. And we need a disarming agent. Well, eventually, that took me a little longer than it should have, but I realised that tear gas is the obvious one. How does tears mean hurries? Well, it's not tears, it's tears. It's a uh, homonym that means hurries. So tears around GA. I had to go at eight down at this point, but couldn't see how it worked. It, development looks a bit like an anagram indicator, but it isn't in this case. So off to one across. Nurse enters passage that's short. Well, given this short definition, I can see that transient fits. I had to try and justify that. Well, the nurse is an EN, an enrolled nurse, I think that is, entering a passage, and the rest of that is transit, which is a passage. That's quite neat word construction, although I think EN is a bit of an old abbreviation. Now, nine across, strike that man in church. Well, that man would normally be he, but that can't go in the middle of this. However, it's object form. Him could, and that gives us chime in the church, CE, classic cross crossword abbreviation. How does chime mean strike? Well, in a bell striking the hour, I guess. Now, 10 across, Penny has license to provide bromide. This is quite a tough spot. Penny is P. What sort of license? And what sort of bromide? Possibly not the chemical, but a bromide can be used metaphorically to mean quite a boring thing to say. And that's a platitude. And that gives us penny P with license latitude. So a neat bit of wordplay. 11 across, it's risky. It's touch and go. And that fits beautifully. To brush with vigour. So to brush is to touch with is and, and vigour is go. And one across, diplomacy, tact. Obviously, we could have probably done that at the very start. Surrounding Indian leader, that's I, is understood, tacit. That's pretty straightforward. So is six down. Parking is the letter P. I mean, you see that on signs a lot. So P and a subsidy, meaning spent. P plus aid equals paid. Seven works in a similar way. Society is S. Slaughter. Well, I was thinking of kill, which would give us skill, but that doesn't work with the U. So another word for slaughter is to cull, and that gives us skull. I'm not trying eight down again, six across. Wally goes through Jim on the way out. Jim is P E or P T. Um, and a Wally here, three letters with an S in it. Ass is the word. So passe is on the way out, not with a D in it, that's misprint. 12 cross, interesting double definition here. Colours fade. Plural colours? Seems odd. Until you remember that colours can be a singular noun for something you fly on a flagpole. So flag, how can that be fade? Well, if you get tired, you flag or fade. Um, indeed, we had fades equals dies down here. Very similar definition. Finally, eight down. Well, the only word that's going to fit now, and it's made up of a crisis without its last letter, and Spain is just the letter E, as on the cars from Spain, and that's emergence, so it's emergency with the last letter replaced by an E. And there's the Guardian crossword by Schiffany done. Um, nice puzzle, quite good fun. Um, nothing too taxing there, but an interesting tip that you could just look for the anagrams to start with, and there were, I think, six in the end. We had Tolerated, Eastbourne, Loser, Acidulous, and maybe only five. I think there was one other. What was it now? I can't remember. I'm sure I've passed over it. Uh, 
Um, I think there was one more. But um, there we go. That's The Guardian, and that's one way to get it done. Thanks very much for watching. Oh, Trounce, that was it. Counter Revolutionary. There we go. I um, hope you enjoyed that. hope it's of some help to you as you think about setting about a cryptic crossword. And uh, thanks for watching. See you next time.